how are we all doing today? So, my name is Sarah Parkinson. It's been a long time. Um, I am a children's author and illustrator. Uh, I have written two books and nearly three. Um, this is my first, The Shoe Foxes. My second, Dragonfly Pie. Hello, I must point my toes. Let's see if we can get some comments going on Facebook as well. I know it takes some time to get them there. For some reason, um, so I've written my two books, uh, Sh Sh The Shoe Foxes and Dragonfly Pie, and um, today we are going to be drawing some spooky, spooky things for Halloween. Don't know why I thought we need to do the really, really creepy voices. Getting excited. <laughs> um, so if you are on watch again, um, please feel free to skip forward to the different areas. If I think about it, I'm going to pop the um timings underneath so you can skip to a certain time fingers crossed um let's see how we're doing hello oh hello molly and aiden in wales um and hello to my dad uh luke and emily in north wales hello we've got some lots of welsh ones on today hello so sorry that you're in lockdown oh shall we probably all well it's what we're doing hey um and yes, so we'll give a bit of time for everyone to come on. There's going to be some great facts coming up on um, on our pumpkins. We're going to draw some pumpkins, spiders and bats. Uh, the spiders will be coming right at the end, just in case if you're a little bit funny about spiders. Now, I used to be when I was younger, but now I'm absolutely fine. Now I've learned more about them. Uh, let's see how we're doing. Hello. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Let's see how we're doing. Uh, Sienna. Hi, Sienna. Hello. Hello, Alina, Mila and Jacob. Oh, hello, guys. Is Jacob going to do some drawings for me today? Alina and Mila, it's so lovely to see you. Uh, hello from Elise, Elisa in Cardiff. Hello, Nick Hill. Hi. Um, hello, Safia. Hello, Martha. Hello, Harriet in Warrington. Hi. Uh, hello, Isabel in Scotland. Hello, Amelia. Oh, hi, Amelia. It's so nice to see some of the familiar faces. Faces. I'm not seeing your faces. I'm just seeing the names. But oh, it's just so lovely. Oh, hello, Bella and Sophie. Hi, guys. Miss you. Mwah. Um, Henry and George. I oh, say so spooky. Hi. Uh, we've got Halloween. Hello from Maisie. We've got Rosie and Molly joining in from, oh God, guys, guys, bro, I'm so sorry if I say that wrong, my geography's awful. Um, oh, we've got, who have we got? We've got Evie Rose and George in Oswestry. I've missed your sessions and can't wait for this. Hi guys, so lovely to see you. Um, who else? Oh, live video pause on, on Instagram, hope we're okay. Um, let's see, from Zoe, oh, Zoe the skeleton, is anybody dressing up today like me? Now, can you guess what I am? I'm not a flamenco dancer. I did think that I may look like a very royal flamenco dancer, but let's see some guesses. Um, we've got Nate and Zach. We've got Dylan and Reese. Hi, guys. We've got Emily. We've got Marianne as well. Hi, Marianne. Yeah, so we've got, we've got some brilliant, brilliant things that we're going to draw today. Oh, so lovely. Hi, Evie, age six. Oh, lovely to see you. Here's some ages as well. There are going to be a range of ages on today. There might be some younger ones. Um, I'm going to do, um, with my drawing setup today, I'm going to change it slightly. Um, so... What we'll be doing is we'll draw the easy version first, which pretty much gets us the shape of the thing that we're drawing. And then we're going to do another version where it's a bit more detailed and something that you can have a go at doing something a little bit a bit harder. But if you if you find that you just want to stick to the easy version, then you can use the time that I'm doing the more detailed ones, maybe add some colour um, and to do some extra work, um, extra bits on it whilst I do Maybe get some facts to you as well. Oh, who have we got? Millicent says hi. Oh, I'm, am I a Halloween queen? Says George. I am not. Good guess though. Um, hi from Nancy and Alistair in Sunderland. Sorry if I've uh, I can't remember if I said hello to you. Uh, Benjamin near Welshpool. We've got Sean and Wallacey. Well, I can't say Wallacey. Yeah. Um, and his birthday in a few days. Happy birthday, Sean. Um, and we've got hi from Oliver age seven. Sienna's guess is that I am the Queen of Hearts. Well done, Sienna. You win. Woo! I'm the Queen of Hearts, because if you can see, if you've not watched Alice in Wonderland, this will make no sense to you. Um, but I've also got Painting the Roses Red 
on my uh, on my yes, the Queen of Hearts. That's right, Maria. Um, painting the roses red in my hair because why not? Um, hello, Ella and Jordan. Amelia, thank you. Oh, I'm glad you like the costume. I quite like my crown. I might just wear it around the house. Right, I need to get going now, don't I? Better get some drawings done. Pens and papers at the ready. Grown-ups, don't you forget to get your cups of tea. I mean, I'm going to be keeping them busy for an hour here. So, you know, bacon butties. Oh, gosh, just think. This time of, this, this time of day. Oh, the you could just have a little lie down on the sofa, couldn't you, eh? Be nice. Right, right now, let's just get turned around. I need to kind of work this with uh, my YouTube cam as well. There we go. Right. Um, later on as well, if there's time, there will be some sneaky peeks at my new book. Well, some illustrations from my new book, which I'm very excited to show you. Now... Are we seeing well enough here? How are we doing, guys? All right, it's not even central. It's not, is it? Oh, it's a bit odd. Okay, how are we looking? So there's a little shine at the top. I'll try not to go into that bit. Right, obviously back with you, Jessica and Mummy near Dudley. Hey! <laughs> Jessica near Dudley! Right, let's get going on our pumpkins now. Pumpkins are called, can be called jack-o'-lanterns as well. Did you know that pumpkins are actually a fruit? True story, not a vegetable. Like a tomato, tomato is a fruit, isn't it? Hey, let's get going. My razor out of the way. Can you, do you like my uh, my cobwebs? It kind of looks more like packaging material, I think. We'll try our best, don't we? Here we go. So we're going to get going on our pumpkins. Can everybody see okay? We all okay? Okay. So, we are going to start with pens on paper, our nice and easy version, getting the shapes of things. So, we're going to go start from near the middle, and what we're going to be doing is making a large pumpkin shape, but we're not going to be going right the way to the middle, we're going to leave a little gap. So, watch me. I'm going to go round, kind of like you're going to be doing a heart, but a flat one at the bottom, flatten out at the bottom. And then up and then round again and leave a little gap at the top. I hope we're all doing okay. I wish I could see. Wish I could see what you guys are doing. Oh, lovely. Okay, so we've got our stick. Now we've got our stick. We've got our shape, our lovely pumpkin shape. Now we need our stem, don't we? So we're just going to pop a little stem on. Join those two bits together there. Okay. And then we just need, it's, it's so simple for drawing a simple pumpkin, isn't it? But you can make it look really, really good. So don't worry, the complicated, lovely one is coming up. But what I'm going to do is where your eyes are going to go, I want you to draw a little line, like it's a sleepy pumpkin. Now you can do whatever design you want on the front of your pumpkin, can't you? But... What I want you to do is, so you can either draw a triangle, a triangle, or you can make it look more realistic by making it bend a little bit, like it's a triangle blowing in the wind, like I was going. <sighs> so ready, we'll do a little curve like that. Okay, and then the same from the other side. How are we looking? Okay, and then we want to do a big old smile for our pumpkin, um, or you can do, you could do it scary, there's all sorts of little ones, little faces that you could be doing, aren't there, but we can talk about that more in the next bit, but I'm going to do a big smile, <laughs> got a bit of a toothy grin, I think, Looks a bit spooky. Now, if you've got some colours, this is a good time to get your colours out. And we're going to have, let's see, I'm going to get my orange. Now, you could even do a dark, if you've got like a red, if you were going to do some colouring, 
what you could do is do it do these bits with the red because this is going to be some of the lines that we're going to add on the pumpkin but it's going to be uh, then you can colour in around so if you do it in red and then you can colour the rest of it in orange if you wanted to and you'll be able to see these bits I'm going to do them in orange but we're going to do is draw a line that's not quite as curvy as this one so that it lands on the inside can you see what I mean Let's see if we can copy this that is you can always colour over it if it doesn't work out can't you So on this side, they'll be curving this way. There we go. And then you can colour in these areas black. Where are we up to? I think we need to get onto our complicated pumpkin now. So we've got our shape. We know what we're going, what we're doing, don't we? Now I'm going to do it again. But that's like your practice run to get you warmed up. Hey! What did I forget about? Because we're not doing it, uh, because it's been a while. I'm a bit out of, uh, out of touch here. Everybody do some wriggling with your fingers. Like spooky spiders. Let's get them all stretched out. A uh, tad to the left or a board, a tad to the right. Uh, let's see. Oh, thank you, Rose. So let's do a little, oh, got to put a few rings on. So I thought I was going to be a bit more regal, but they keep falling off. There we go. Give those wrists a good old stretch. So we've warmed up with a little warm-up drawing. Now we're going to do a really good pumpkin. Okay. Let's see. Ready? So we're going to do the same thing. With our shape. Do you know what you find out as well? You do them, you know like how you get different pumpkins? All in your, when you go into the shops. These will all turn out different as well. If you draw lots of different pumpkins, you could do a pumpkin shop, couldn't you? With all different, a pumpkin shop display for your picture maybe. Okay, so one of the things I'm going to do to make this pumpkin look more realistic is add some lines onto our stalk. So, with my black, or if you've got a grey, just do some lines going down. Just like that. Press down at the at the top and then let it go going down. Does that make any sense? Okay, so we've got our stalk. <laughs> oh, who won my book? Um, oh gosh, I can't remember her name. Is it Charlotte? She'll be getting it. Uh, she'll be getting my new book. Um, oh gosh, I can't remember her name. I'm so sorry. If you if you won my book, let um, give me a shout out because they'll be getting it in a couple of weeks' time. Right. How are we doing? Next. Uh, next step, shall we do our ridges first or shall we do our faces first? Let's do our faces first. And uh, now there are different types of faces that you could be doing. You could either do those, obviously. You could do kind of like a, an upside down moon, I guess. Do them like that, couldn't you, with your eyes? You could do try down here, maybe like with, with my animals. Try doing that. The one I'm going to do, I'm going to sit with the triangles just to keep, keep life simple. But those are some different ideas that you could be doing. We're going to do our triangles again. They're being blown over. I have to tell from this angle if I'm drawing it straight. do you think? And then what I want you to do is I'm going to add a little effect onto our little triangles here. I'm going to do a little line at the bottom. Let's colour in there. Can you see? See what I've done? 
little line, colour it in. If you're doing a circle or one of the different ones, you could try just doing a little circle shape. But that will kind of show like you're looking into the actual real life pumpkin. Next, on the outer bits of your pumpkin eyes, let's do another line. Just there. What do we think? Oh, hi, Emma. Hi, Mel hi, Melanie. Hi, Safira. How are you doing? So lovely seeing some of these lovely names again. I've missed you guys so much. All right, let's do a nose. Do we do a nose on the other one? I don't think we did a nose on our other pet on our other uh, pumpkin. I'm just going to do this one as a little black nose, but maybe you could do the same effect on that one. That would be by doing that and colouring it in, wouldn't it? Okay, and I'm going to do a big creepy smile with my pumpkin, nice and high. Big tooth. <laughs> and then another one. Another smile, obviously, the bottom of his smile. And again, you can add a little effect. Pop in a little bit of brown to show the inside. Because I don't know if you've noticed, if you look at a pumpkin that you've carved, if you've carved a pumpkin, you can see the insides of the pumpkin a little bit, can't you? So yeah, there's our creepy smile. And then again, you can just add our lines. So we go, and we go. And another thing you can do is if you've done this in pencil first, another little trick you can do is if you just rub out, do you see where those lines are there? And rub out just a little bit on the edge of each line so that each, does that make any sense? So where the, the ridge is, where you've got, I suppose you don't even need to rub out really, you could just colour over, couldn't you, like this? You can make even more real. So that's what it's all about, isn't it? But making it fun too. See what I mean? So it's kind of like a cloud underneath it, isn't it? If you join up all of these with um, a kind of cloud line. Does that make any sense? I'm going to do some nice bit of shading, show that it's uh, a little bit of a shadow. Imagine your shadow might fall around here. There we go. That look real. How's that looking? <coughs> Pardon me. And we'll write out. Whoop. Anybody thinking that this writing is absolutely awful, it's because I'm writing it backwards so that everybody can join in. There we go. So there's our pumpkin. Next on the list, guys. Are we ready? Next, we are going to do bats. Have a little check in. Oh, my pumpkin is crying. Oh. Oh, let's have a look. Molly, Brooke and Jacob say hi. Hi, guys. Oh, hi, Iman. So sorry. Iman has done. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Hi, Iman. Sorry, I'm terrible at remembering all the... Hi, Violet. Hi, guys. Oh, Facebook left on service. Do say if anything is uh, not coming across, but we'll see how we go after Right, next one we are going to draw is move this in a teeny bit. 
hope you can all see okay lovely oh god okay so next one we are going to draw is a bat the creepy creepy bat hey did, we, did I, I didn't even finish my pumpkin facts i got so excited drawing with you um let's see if this is what's the best one the heaviest pumpkin is 2600 pounds the heaviest pumpkin that's not about that would be terrifying um <laughs> um which is the, a similar weight to a mini cooper a car a mini car so that's fun isn't it imagine this, a, a pumpkin the size of a car or as heavy as a car my goodness that would be quite frightening to come across so that's <laughs> let's get Oh, get ready for our back. So, easy version first, guys. Get our shapes right. Uh, hi for Al from Alana. Hello. We've got Zoya here as well, enjoying with you. Oh, lovely to see you. Fantastic. Okay. Hello, everyone. We are going to draw our bat eyes first. Now, my hubby, my husband, Megan's dad, Megan is my lovely daughter, draw two little eyes close, two eyes close together, but they're going to be big eyes, because that looks cuter. My husband says, oh, you shouldn't do the, the eyes big, because they're not big on bats. And I said, no, because you want them to look super cute, don't you? Now, I don't know if you can see what I've done here. I'm going to draw it on one side. You don't need to draw this. I'm going to rub it out in a second. But what each of my eyes has got a big circle with a little circle in the corner and then we colour in all around the outside of that of that little circle okay I'll tell you what can't wait for these cobwebs to go Ooh. so colour around got a cobweb on the edge of my pen colour around those little circles so we've got a little shine in our eyes so it's super cute Okay, and then we're going to draw a little nose. It's going to look a bit like a sad face. Can you see? It's a little sad face. It looks like a little sad face, but that's its nose. Like that. If you imagine, you can see the top of my nose like that. That's what it's trying to do there. Okay. Oh, hi, Mikhail. Oh, it's so lovely to draw with you too. Next, we're going to draw... A smile. Mm, should we do it? What we'll do is we'll do the face first because we want the smile to be quite tight in there. So the face is just really small. Can you see? Can you do that with me? No, he looks like a really sad one, a sad um, bat at the moment, doesn't he? But let's add a nice big smile. Go right from eye to eye. <laughs> And then pop some little cheeks in there too. You can see. Okay, so we've got our face. Now let's add some big leafy ears, like big leaves. <laughs> okay. Then what I want you to do. I think the spider webs are catching on my rings, so let's take those off. Next, what I want you to do is look at the space on your paper now. And we're going to do some big bat wings. And what I want you to do is kind of like, you know, when you're drawing the sea, and you go whoop, whoop, whoop. We're going to do two whoops. <laughs> so I've got a little indicator here of how, how big I'm doing it. So that an equal amount. One, two. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Draw my little dots for guidance. One, two. <laughs> so we've got the tops of our wings. Then I'm going to draw, we're going to draw the body. That's going to be like a big Sausage, or it might look, it might look a little bit more like a skittle, I suppose. Have a look at what I do first. Long and thin, if you can, if you can, if you can manage it. And I'm trying not to make him too big. Well, it doesn't really matter. How, however, your 
lovely back turns out will be fantastic. So next, once you've got your big body area there, think about where the middle of your body is at the bottom there. Then I want you to imagine an imaginary line going from the top corner of the wing to the bottom middle of the body and think about where your bat wings are going to go. And I'm going to do a couple of dots there so I can see. I'm going to do these marks. Now these are like upside down ones, aren't they? Upside down. Uh, see waves, aren't they, I suppose? Here's the other ones. What fat facts have we got? They are, there are 100, oh my gosh, 1,100 species of bat. That is crazy. And they make up one quarter of all mammals. If you know what, uh, so if you, if you think about all the different species of different, mam of different mammals, so mammals are warm blooded creatures, um, where they usually have hair, usually, apart from uh, the likes of killer whales that are rare. And that obviously don't have hair, unless they do, maybe they do have hair. So join those two up together. Bats can live to be 30 years old. True story. That's with the, the larger bats though. Don't get them really, don't get the big, big bats in this country, just the little ones. So here in our middle one at the top, I'm drawing little hands, but they're going, they're going to be little hands. If you draw a little circle, top of each one and then uh, mm, let me think this is actually a little bit more of a detailed one isn't it okay so you can draw a little back hands draw a little back hands this can be our simple one okay um we'll do our trickier one i'm gonna start again so this one is our nice and simple back you can color it all in looking very very cute and sweet Oh, Owen is drawing his first bat. Oh, lovely nocturnal bats are. Oh, I'm intrigued what that's referring to. Always love hearing what you guys know already because you're so smart. Whew. Right, so we'll draw again our complicated bats, but we're going to do them the same way. So I'm just going to crack on. You can draw it the same way. Follow me. Um, now, interesting bat facts. Draw a little. Oh, looks like a sad face. Uh, let's see. So, a group of bats are called a colony. Ooh. Did you know that the largest bat colony, you might know about this already because they do appear a lot on the news and things, is um, in Bracken Cave in San Antonio, Texas. I can't do an American accent, so don't ask me. Um, and there, there are 20 million, million. Do you know, I, I, can't even, I can't even begin to think how many that is. So I thought, I'm going to find out what 200 million is. Are you ready for this? This is a great way to think about it. If you think about how many Rice Krispies there are in a box of Rice Krispies. Now, I figured out, because I looked on the internet, <laughs> somebody's done this, um, in a 510 gra um, gram box of Rice Krispies, which is a usual one, um, there are... Ooh, what is it now? 22, I can't be right, is that right? 22,000 rice, that is right, 22,000 rice krispies <laughs> in a standard box of rice krispies. So that's, if you think about all the rice krispies that are in a box of rice krispies, then take a thousand boxes of rice krispies and tip them all out on the floor, that's 20 million. Could you imagine all of those as bats in a big, 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 massive cave in America? Goodness me. Right, better get crack on with the drawing, haven't I? Right, so, going to draw our big body. Well, 
nice long body quite long body this one I'm going to make it a little smaller because my I won't have as much a good wingspan to make that look good so you crack on two dots the same again one two okay and then here what we are going to do we are going to add little legs onto these bats let me see to the bottom <laughs> look funny don't they and then draw some little feet that's what they hang on they hang onto the trees with their feet don't they when they dangle upside down Get our little hands on at the top. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to join up our lovely, I like to call it a cape really, but it's not, isn't it? It's just wings. Um, <laughs> we're going to join it up with the bottom of their feet because it all joins together. Bats are the only mammals that actually fly. They have things like flying squirrels and things, but they don't fly, they glide. They jump from high, uh, high trees. So just joining that up with the bottom. That is, no matter how many you do, it'll work. And then you join up from this hand, join your hand up with the bottom joins, I guess. That looks extra good, doesn't it? Really extra good. <laughs> An author, apparently. Then we're going to draw our little arms on our bats. So think about where your elbow is going to go, about halfway between your hand and the body. A little bit lower than where the wing is. We'll draw a nice hand. Ooh, nice hand, a nice elbow. And we've got our bats that you can colour in. Deary me, I'm doing terrible with my writing today. I'm a bit out of practice with my backwards handwriting. How are we doing? How are we doing? I've seen a real bat. Wow. I'm just going to watch the complicated bat. <laughs> oh, hi, Charlie. Oh, wow. Right. Okay, then. So we've got our bats. Some creepy bats. We're going to move on now. Now, is anybody really, really scared of spiders? Because I will be conscious of that. They're really, really interesting, you know. I used to be scared of them. But then I met Megan's daddy when Megan wasn't born. Um, and he obviously knows so much about all these animals. And he taught me all these interesting things about spiders. And they're not things to be scared of at all. They're actually really, 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 really clever and interesting. <coughs> so I'm going to show a, little, a few little facts, but I'll, what I'll do, I'll try and keep the scarier ones to the end so that if you, you do get a little bit like not so sure about them, that's OK. Don't worry about it. But I am going to show you some uh, little bits, for, some little paintings from my uh, book later. So you can always just make sure you tune back in just or, or just or close your ears if there's something that you're not sure. Right. So we're going to do our simple spider first, our cute one. So mm, no, hang on. Start with the eyes. Start with the eyes. Always works out better if you start with the eyes. Let's get, so we're just going to have two eyes on this spider, but spiders can have six or eight eyes. And my husband also tells me that they tend to be um, at the same side. So like you, you, you have your eyes at the same part of your body, if um, same symmetrical. So it means it's the same either side, doesn't it? Parts of your body at equal sides spiders would have the same so they wouldn't have like one there and one there or over there they'd have them at the same point on either side some have one in the middle of the head and one in the back of the head I would quite fancy an eye in the back of my head sometimes especially when dealing with my little lovely daughter 
throw a nice big smile. Just get close to the eyes though, so it stays nice and tight. Ah, look at him. You can't be scared of this little spider. I'm going to draw the body. It's going to be like he's looking at, he's, he's like straight on with us. Now, did you know? You see our spider. Did you know uh, that there's a type of spider called a jumping spider? That's a kind of, um, there's, it's a species of spider. Um, and they can be trained, they actually can be trained to jump on demand do high fives and give handshakes and just do all sorts of tricks. They're really, really clever spiders. Interesting fact. I did not know that. Okay, so let's draw some legs on our spider. I'm going to do them. You can either do them off the body, but sometimes um, when you look at the different parts of a spider, if you look at a picture of a spider, you'd have the head and the body. And sometimes the, the legs actually come off head a bit. They do sound a bit freaky when you think about it too much. <laughs> Legs growing out of the head. That's just how they've adapted really, isn't it? So let's start drawing some fabulous legs on our spiders. So for our simple ones, you can either just draw them nice and big and leggy. I'm going to do them in three sections. So we've got one, two, three. And then do the same on the other side. One that comes out, one that comes out across, one that hits the floor. I'm going to do, maybe this one's going to go up a bit. Up, down, down. Let's try and do the same on the other side. Just because it looks more, looks better that way, I think, sometimes. And then I'm going to do some from the back here. So, uh, two, three. One, two, three. Doesn't matter. However you get them to turn out, sure, it'll look great. Two, three. So then we've got our creepy little spider. Let's move on to our more realistic looking spider. Are we ready? Oh. Right, how are we doing? How are we doing? The most poisonous spider is a black widow. Henry says he loves spiders because they eat the flies. Yes. Oh, I've got an interesting fact about that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. They eat more spiders. So if you think about all the spiders in the world and all the birds in the world and all the bats in the world, these all eat insects. But all the spiders eat more insects than all the bats and all the birds combined. So if you take all the birds and the bats and all the food that they eat, and then you take all the spiders, the spiders eat more insects. So think about all the flies and things that they, they, they're they getting out of your room, they're buzzing around your head. And that's why they're quite handy to have in the house, really. Let's get on to our complicated spider. So we're going to start with our eyes. Same way. <laughs> Apologise if I'm sniffing too much. I've got a horrible snotty cold. There we go. So we've got our two eyes. Uh, I, drew, I drew a spider and a skeleton. Oh, lovely. Fantastic. So, got our two eyes. Now, I want you to draw, mm, let's draw our head, but leave a little bit of space because we are going to be drawing more eyes. So, just leave a little bit of space, a little, little bit. Still want it to have a small head. I'm still uh, going to do, I'm going to give him a smile. You can give him a little smile if you, if you want. I'm going to keep it eyesy. Now, you think about where these eyes might be. So they're on the same point on each side. So I'm going to draw an eye here and an eye here. 
I'm going to draw one coming off the side of his head so we can't kind of see all of the eye. You see there, it looks like ear muffs, don't they? Like a panda. Gosh, it does look a little bit like a panda. Let's add some, let's add some more eyes. Let's add some eyes here. <laughs> it won't look like a won't look like a panda when we add the palps. I'll add those at the end though because they will look a little bit creepy. I'll tell you about that when we get to it. Let's draw our body coming off the back. Ooh, spiders. And then for our legs, what we're going to do is draw long sausages like hot dogs. Uh, our own has drawn a spider and a pumpkin now. Fabulous. So exciting. So, I'm definitely, uh, so we're going to do our sausages for our legs. So, let's draw one coming here so again i'm going to do them in three spot in three points one two three I'm going to do the last one facing downwards but however your legs turn out they will look fab one two three let's draw another one Ooh. one now this one's going behind the other leg, so I'm going to draw it like that. Can you see? One, two, three. How far does that one go? Yep. One, two, three. And then one, two. One, two, three. It'd be quite good if you if you like it, if you want to make it look realistic. If you're watching this on replay, you can always skip ahead to this bit. Um and just pause it on where the and you can just copy where I put my legs if you like. Just make sure that we've got eight legs. One. Part of one leg, two, three, one, two, three. Now we've got our spidery legs. I think these look really, really good. Oh, fantastic. We're going to add a little bit of colour now. Let's get some colour on. We're going to make these legs look really, really good. Are you ready? So I've got a brown here. A light brown. I don't think it'll make any difference because I think it's just going to get dyed by the uh, black pen. But we'll see how we go. I'm just going to colour in my legs. Ooh, how are you guys doing? Are you going to send me some pictures? Because you know how much I love to see your pictures, however they've turned out, because I bet they look great. And you can bet if somebody else has had trouble, if you've had trouble, sorry, on a certain point, I bet you somebody else has too, and it might make them feel better sometimes. Colouring these legs. Now I'm going to find a way as well. Shall I show you how to make these look extra creepy? I'm going to stop doing these uh, silly Halloween noises. Once it's not Halloween, hey. Let's add some hairy legs. Hair on these legs. Do, 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 do. I think they look really good, a bit hairy. I hope your grown ups are enjoying their nice break. There we go. Maybe they're joining in too. I know I have some of the grown ups that like to do it as well. Don't worry, don't don't bother them. Let them let them have their cup of tea. Right, let's go. I'm just gonna carry on colouring in my legs. So they're all done. You colour in with me. Mm. 
um, show you another part of the spider and they are called the palps or the pedipalps they're called and they're the bits that you see at the front and I think this when I used to not like spiders this is the bit I didn't used to like at all not all spiders have them I always thought they looked a bit creepy they're really good they're really clever they help them to eat and feed and feel very clever these spiders imagine we got a treat in teaching your teaching a spider how to do a trick imagine tre teaching a spider how to juggle i bet a spider would be a brilliant juggler wouldn't it with all those legs Although I wouldn't want to fancy trying to juggle with my legs. I'm sure they're very good with their legs. They could probably juggle with them, right? I think somebody needs to do that in wherever it is that they're... Uh... Training these jumping spiders. Add some hair onto the back of our spider too. What do you think? Let's get let's get these palps on as well. So you can leave it like that, but I think it looks a little bit like a panda. <laughs> That's no good, is it? Let's add some palps onto this spider. So what you can do is you can either colour these in black, or I'm going to colour them in brown. These are the palps. The other ones I mean. <laughs> creepy, creepy. Just a little bit of colour. There we go. There is our creepy spider. Now I've got some extra treats for you today. If I was seeing you in person, I'd be giving you lots of treats. Of the chocolate time or something, but... No such luck. Even though it is. Ooh, what time is it now? Twenty past ten in the morning. Ooh. There we go. I always write. I always write the other word, don't I? Just in case. Spider. There we go. How are we doing? How are we doing? Rhiannon says hello. She likes the spooky spider. Oh, hi, Evie. I'm glad that you like spiders, too. I love drawing spiders, says Miles. Oh, fantastic. That's where all the fun's at, isn't it? I'm going to keep it on the screen for you a little bit longer so that you can check it out. Make sure that we're all good. Now, I'm going to talk about my next book, which is about... A little mouse called Nora. Now this is what I'll be taking out to schools and things when I do my school visits again. Nice meeting little Nora. And uh, Nora is a, is a mouse who is incredibly loud. I'm going to turn you around a little bit now. Hi guys. Oof. How are we doing? Oh, I thought I'd do a different setup today as well because it's not very, no, not very, uh, just brings the changes, doesn't it? Makes it a bit, a bit interesting. Oh, just catch a sneak peek then. So, my next book, I've not got a definite, definite date yet because I want to make sure that everything's finished for it. Um, but as soon as I have the date that it's going to be released, I will let you know. It's going to be the end, it is going to be the end of November at some point. I just can't decide. I can't, I need to make sure that I've got everything done in time. So, new book, new book is called, so this is my little rough sketchy copy. Do you remember me doing my, uh, the, the books with you earlier this year? I don't know if you, if you saw any of my workshops, but I always did these little staple together books. And this is what I do with my own little books that I make. 
and uh, this is how I figure out what goes on each page, what it all looks like. And this looks absolutely awful because it's been going out with me for months and months. And um, as I make changes and uh, decide how it's all going to look on the page before I do my illustrations. Another little peek. Um, so all of my illustrations go into one of these files once I've done them to keep them all pretty because I hand paint everything. So it's quite different doing a drawing on a whiteboard than it is working with paints. <laughs> um, and I'll show you one, one of them. Are you ready? Doing me. Hang on. Let me just quickly uh, change something there. Sorry for Facebook if you've been buzzing away there. This is one of my illustrations. Now it may change slightly because that's not. I may end up making little tweaks here and there, but this is one of them. This is one of my uh, illustrations of birds flying because Nora's being incredibly loud. But it's not just a book about this loud mouse being loud. She goes on a little adventure, my Nora. And she doesn't fit in with all the mice. <laughs> oh, I'd love to come to your primary school more than anything. Make sure that you're following me and we will um and once everything calms down a bit now there's one other one other page that i've been really excited to show you i'm not going to explain too much i'm just going to show it you and just see what you think oh, first of all this is something that happens to nora she goes Woo! plop and lands in a molehill and then oh, just excuse my uh, sticky notes Still changes going on, guys. Once she lands in her molehill, she comes across. I'm not able to see super well because I'm going to bring all of this up. I'm going to go over uh, the mole who keeps lots of treasures. Right, guys. Now. I'm very excited to share this new book with you. Um, it will be coming at the end of November and I will make sure make sure that you're following my page so that I can um, share the link with you ready when uh, when it's published. And uh, you guys can all get to meet, to meet Noisy Nora. I'm so excited about it because I think it's my best one yet. I'm really excited. Um, and yeah, just so exciting. Oh, looks amazing. Thanks, Miles. Oh, thank you, Sharon. That's so nice. Um, wow, great. Just cute, uh, a few cute spiders in our household drawn by Anne when oh, and a bat. Fantastic. Amazing. Oh, thank you so much. <sighs> I know, right? Ooh. So I can't wait. I'm, I'm so looking forward to having the books out and I'm looking forward to being able to come out to schools a bit more. Um, we'll see how things go next year. I may be able to do um, a bit more with the schools as well. We'll see where, where everything's up to. Be lovely to come out and see you though. I miss, miss, miss so much seeing, seeing you guys. So please, 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 please send me some pictures. I would love to see your pictures. It'll just absolutely warms my heart. Um, send me your pictures and um, I will get to see some of your bats, spiders and pumpkins or if you've drawn anything else and if you're dressing up especially. <gasps> Oh, get to see some fabulous costumes as well. Oh, your illustrations. Oh, thank you so much. I can't wait for your new book. Thank you for so much for today's session. The kids have loved it. Not a problem at all, Angela. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, Auntie Sarah, Sienna's tuned in as much as, uh, <laughs> as much as an 18 month old can focus for any length of time. That's my little niece, Sienna, who is, uh, she mentioned in my first, in my second book, Dragon Five High. Thank you so, so much. Uh, oh, Henry. Oh, the boys want to get their paints out now too. Please do. I'd love to see you get some paints. Would you like to see a painting tutorial at some point, maybe? I'd love to just see how we go. Let's just enjoy ourselves. For now, Keris, thank you. Oh, Ella and Jordan have loved today's drawings. Even Daddy got involved and drew them. Hey, Daddy, I want to be able to see some of these drawings. Love to see. Fantastic. I'm so glad you've enjoyed it. You don't have to show if you don't want to. Thank you. <coughs> um, yes, so I had such a lovely time today. I've missed you guys so, so much. 
can't wait to share the next book with you. Um, and as we're coming up to the hour, I think we will just tie off nicely. Thank you, Millicent. Oh, it's been lovely seeing you too. Oh, thank you, Alana. Thank you. It's been so lovely to see you. Oh, Al, oh, fantastic. Oh, lovely. Thank you so much, everybody. We've had such a lovely time. Um, and I will see you next time. And uh, I was trying to think, oh, yes, that's what I was going to say. Sorry. Um, we are going to be, uh, I'll do some more videos over um, Christmas as well. Um, maybe a bit of an advent drawing thing. Would you like a kind of a drawing session a day over Christmas? Is that like a bit too much to commit myself to on a live? Who knows? But maybe like a quick live every day. Or a quick, maybe not a live every single day, maybe just like a, maybe just a video, a quick video um, tutorial with the odd live thrown in at a weekend or something, maybe. We'll see. But I'd love to see um, everyone getting involved and doing more drawings and stuff because it's just great. It's just so fantastic to see. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, oh, thank you very much. Um, I will see you so very, very soon. Um, and uh, oh,